Chip final, North America Cup number 16, one million dollars. They're off and pacing. Buckeye Hanover has come out fastest of all. Goliath Bayama is coming out with that one. Nagano is going to get a good spot along the inside in third. McGetty follows up in fourth. Now there's the Panderosa for Campbell, fifth on the outside. First time at the wire and Sue Dawn strides through to be in sixth. Royal Flush Hanover is back in seventh. Show me the money is eighth. Wanting in line, Space Shuttle second from last in the paper wazoo was tenth. David Miller first to the quarter pole with Buckeye Hanover in 25 and two. Goliath Bayama working out a pocket trip position. Nagano is on the inside third. McGetty is fourth. The Panderosa hit the five hole early. That may be important as Campbell tips him back out again. And Goliath Bayama is up and moving in the second quarter to the lead. Sue Don is back there in sixth. Royal Flush Hanover is seventh. Show me the money is eighth. Second from last is Space Shuttle and uh, trailing was the paper wazoo. Goliath Bayama made the lead. The Panderosa charges to the top. 54 and four at the half. Pretty much moderate second quarter really of 29 and two and the Pandarosa has made the lead after sitting fifth in the first quarter. Campbell has this one on top now. Goliath Bayama now back in second. Moving first over is Nagano. Look at the hold David Miller has. Buckeye Hanover is hemmed in from fourth. Sudan sweeping up the perfect second over fifth. Royal Flush Hanover a closer sixth on the outside. Show me the money is seventh. McKetty eighth on the inside then space shuttle with the paper wazoo. The Pandarosa. At the top of the stretch in Cup 16, 123 and 3. The three quarters, the Panderosa striding away by three. Then the rest of the field. Goliath Bayama came back through for second. John Campbell has made the North America Cup of the 1990s his personal showcase. Here's his sixth winner of this decade. The Panderosa defeated Goliath Bayama, Buckeye Hanover third, Sudan fourth. Amazing track, stakes, and Canadian record, 149 and four. In the winner's circle getting the 1999 North America Cup blanket and the result is now official. Can the winner of the Panderosa paid 450? I think a few people might be keeping those tickets for posterity. The exact Week eliminations, paid 14 Bob, I was watching you watch around the paddock and you were nervous. How'd you feel tonight going into this big race? I was pretty nervous also. Uh, he raced very, very well last week, but uh, yeah, as you can see with these horses early in the season, they can bounce from big effort like last week's. Pay 250,000 for horse, you expect big things from him. And also when you get John Campbell the mic, you expect big things from him. And what a drive by Johnny tonight. Oh, it was a great drive. Uh, John's believed in the horse all along. And, uh, you know, the horse uh, showed what he's made up tonight. Coming for home, Bob, just to uh, relive the last five minutes uh, when you were up in the grandstand watching this race. Campbell on the inside, Goliath, Bayama, Silva, and Fillion up the rail with some pace. But uh, Johnny asked us, Colt, and he responded, blew the field away, actually. Well, I'm just looking for the finish line right here. So uh, I don't know if he blew the field away. Goliath, Bayama went a uh, very big mile, and uh, I'm just really happy right now. Uh, maybe a silly question, Bob, biggest win of your career? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, First million dollar race. Okay, Bob Glazer, I don't think it'll be the last either. The owner, Peter Pan Stables, Bob Glazer, and the Panderosa and John Campbell winning North America Cup number six back upstairs to Ken Warkinson. And uh, there's John Campbell and his wife, Paula Campbell, and there is the winner, the Panderosa. Trainer Brett Pelling believes he needs five or six starts to be the best he can be. 149 and four tonight, that is amazing. That is just outright scary tonight. He showed that confidence by just taking charge down the back stretch off that quick opening quarter. He seized the moment. And of course, the Panderosa and Goliath Bayama finished one, two. They are Meadowlands Pace eligibles. And that's our next show. Another million dollar purse. The Meadowlands Pace is our next 